Hey guys, what's up? Alright, these are the Extreme Explosives, JVC. Um, and um, they are the absolute fan most fantastic headphones, earbuds ever. Those are the on-ear ear, uh, headphones, and these are the uh, earbuds right here. So, um, and they're, they're totally awesome. So awesome that I decided to get another set of earbuds. And that's why I'm here right now to do a little unboxing and product review of these. And um, I will try it out in front of you. Uh, yeah. So, um, let's just open that up right here. I can tear the packaging right here. Or the mail envelope. There we go. Nice easy tear. Okay. And of course, there they are. Authentic Extreme Explosives. But these are an updated version with a remote and microphone, guys. Okay, as you can see, the earbuds have a slight change. Because these are actually last year's model, which I got two and a half months ago. This is the latest model, enhanced with remote and microphone. As you can see, the earbuds have a slight red ring on the top there. So uh, they did change the look a little bit, um, and I, I might change the earbud caps to red. I, I have those in my drawer, anyway, in my desk. So anyway, iPod iPhone, iPad, compatible, Android compatible, obviously, they're headphones, but that means the microphone is also compatible too, so uh, it's worth it. So anyway, um, so it is time to do an unboxing for this, okay? It is really hard to find these in any retail store. Um, by the way, I must say, do not buy them on eBay because odds are they are fakes coming from China, okay? These are from Amazon from some retail store in Texas. Uh, wait, I have the address here. Um, yeah, Austin, Texas. It came from Austin, Texas. And um, a bit down south from here. And um, well, these are authentic, okay? Obviously, even if it is made in China, well, it was authenticated by JVC. Um, as you can see here, this is uh, the remote microphone portion, which is, um, I'll open it shortly. Uh, you can see a small uh, dot right there, that's the microphone. And uh, I'm pretty sure the button is on the other side of that. And the cable just passes through. So uh, it should be very similar to the microphone on the... Uh, Apple headphones, but the quality of headphones will be much, much better than those. I guarantee it, guys. Uh, so, anyway, um, let's see any more information on the packaging before I open it. And, uh, nope, nothing else written down here. Uh, they are extreme explosives. I'm looking, does it actually say 10 millimeters on the packaging like it did last time? Um, so I, I have a feeling it's 9 millimeters. I, I'm not entirely sure. I will look into that shortly, guys. Uh, it doesn't actually say it on the packaging. Um, so anyway, let's, let's uh, open this thing up and check it out, guys. Okay, the JVC Extreme Explosives. All right, brand new. It's uh, with the remote end mic, so uh, I'm excited. So let's put those away. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's see where is the best site to open this thing from. Um, I remember the packaging for those headphones were really painful for me. Um, let's just hope this isn't the same deal. So. Uh, 
really hope I don't destroy my scissors. These are really good scissors, too, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, I think I can, like, open this. Yeah, I can kind of pry the plastic open. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. I don't know whether I'll cut this part out of the video. Maybe not. You guys might enjoy watching me struggle a little bit. So, it'd be nice to open this. Okay. Um, I really don't want to risk destroying my scissors. Um, wow. Alright, let me just feel this. Yeah, this, this is a rubber on the tips, just like the extreme explosives I have. Um, they do feel very similar to the ones I have. So, uh, so far, I am satisfied. But not so much with the packaging. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, this one dude on YouTube actually cut himself by opening the packaging. I really hope... By opening the packaging of those. The, the packaging for that is just evil. I'm just glad I got it out ultimately, but... <laughs> um, wow. Ugh. Okay. My, uh, I'll make another cut, I guess. Um, carefully. 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 No, no. Careful. 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 Okay. Good, good. Okay. It does come in another... It does come in a box, I'm, I think. I think I see a box in there. Um, okay. I'll cut it on this side. Careful. Avoid the wire. Okay. Careful. 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 Good. Got it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I hope I don't cut myself. This is pretty sharp here. This plastic is really sharp. Okay. If you don't want to watch me um, struggle to open this, just fast forward, please. This might take a few minutes. Um, this might take a few minutes to open. I really don't know why they designed the packaging like this. Okay. Pry this open some more. Oh, wow. I might, might have to make another cut here. Make another incision in the packaging. Carefully, ever so carefully. Um, wow. Why? Why am I filming me struggle this with this? Um, I really don't need to. Okay. Oh my. Oh. Okay, maybe I should start an incision on the other side. Okay, I can... As long as I'm careful with this. The wiring is really close. Um... Okay, seems like I'm having um, technical difficulties uh, with the packaging. Um, I'm going to cut away right now and uh, open it off camera a little bit and then I'll come back on camera guys okay uh, thanks for being so patient with me okay okay guys I uh, use some brute force and cut open the packaging some more and seriously guys don't make packaging like this okay Th this is not good this is not good for anybody this doesn't do anything for anybody okay this, this I hate this packaging okay this is horrible packaging Awesome headphones, but horrible packaging. Why do great things come in bad packaging? I don't know. Done. Okay. Uh, by the way, this one does not come with a box. It does not. So, um... But, they give you a little something extra. What is this? Um... Well... Looks like an extension cord, which is only about two inches um, extra in wire. Um, 
by the way. Um, you know something about this? Yeah, by the way, this is something new, which did not come with the other extreme explosives. This, you notice three rings. One for right sound, left sound, and uh, the other one is microphone. Um, I, I'll show you these extreme explosives right now, which come in a nice box. Instead of a box, they gave me this, which I, I really don't know what the purpose of this. Why, why would they give me one of these? I, I don't know. As you can see, this one is only two rings. This is three rings. This is actually called a TRS. This is a TRRS. That's actually the technical term for it. Um, it just has one extra ring at the bottom here. This bottom ring is the extra one, yeah. So, uh, I'm not sure which of the two top ones is left and right. If you slightly disconnect your headphones, you can... Whatever headphones you're using, you can tell whether it's right or left. So you can try that experiment on your own time. And, um... So I just want to point that out. Just like, uh, oh, it, it is a copper or brass plated... Gold plated? No. I, I don't know, but... Look at how shiny. Any, anyway, um, so this is the same kind of deal, except you get the microphone. So uh, this was $25, actually. Um, I got the other one for $30. Um, I guess uh, the box cost $5, um, maybe. But that's okay, because I can just use one of these. I'm glad I have that. So, uh, by the way, uh, I got that overseas, uh, really cheap uh, when I was in India so otherwise I think I think this might actually cost five dollars which is too much for a bobino thing um, but in any case here it is uh, kinda smells like new yeah, yeah it does smell like new okay this is the new part it's a one button for a microphone for making calls uh, I will test out the multi-click and see if it actually changes my music. Um, here you have this, and they did not give me other replacement earbuds, by the way, guys. Um, they didn't give me multiple sizes like they did with my other ones. Uh, so I'm going to test this out right now. Um, as you can see, it is different. XX logo is on there. The re red ring is new. The microphone is new with button. Um, I saw a test whether it's a multi click button for the iPhone iPod Touch. I'm guessing it might be, but I'm not sure. Uh, apparently, there is no volume control on it. Um, there are three dots on it, as you can see. Um, an interesting thing to point out, this one has dots on it too, which means certain things for left and right. So anyway, I just want to point that out. So this could be the same basic thing. Or maybe it just means triple click. Anyway, um, so I'm going to test it out momentarily, guys. So um, let's go ahead hey and guys, do okay, that. Okay, next. I am now going to... Uh, play this for the first time ever and um, if you uh, notice closely uh, another thing I want to point out uh, is this is a single cable all the way through and it only splits at after uh, this point on the cable this one it's actually two cables which is connected after this point which also has a JVC logo on it so uh, much smaller but you still have two wires before and after so um, so instead of them combining the two into one it's just two wires so this point doesn't really do much uh, I would have liked it if 
this was just one wire going all the way through uh, just like the other extreme explosives but oh well this is the way the new version is so odds are if you get the new 2012 version this is what you will end up getting so I am going to try them out right now okay right and left and uh, just like last time they are angled so you can't put the right in the left ear and you cannot put the left in the right ear it will not fit in your ears so even if you don't see right and left the right can only fit in your right ear that's the angling of it just like the uh, other extreme explosives the angling is exactly the same um, the earbud is slightly smaller okay so let us try it on um, side by side view uh, actually yeah they are slightly smaller so I, I thought it was 8 millimeter but I'm not sure uh, so I'm gonna try it out hopefully it doesn't make a difference okay wow it has a really nice snug fit very nice wait um, let me try on these my previous extreme explosives which are still fantastic wow um, exactly the same fit the fit is exactly the same in fact these actually had a slight breaking in curve um, than these so um, my older ones did have a one week breaking in curve but the newer ones is perfect fit from the start so uh, some of you might prefer this newer version some might prefer the older version um, so far I find no difference be besides the microphone so uh, I will now put it in my ears again okay nice snug fit okay right ear left ear airtight fit okay and I will play my favorite song for the past few months talking heads actually no just like last time I will actually go with my first song being this one so let's play oh wow wow that's good yes the microphone button does work for play pause next song triple click for a previous song double click for a next song and single click for play pause if you hold it I'm sure it goes to the microphone hello Siri yes she calls me the sexiest man on earth that's <laughs> awesome anyway um, thanks Siri so the microphone button works quite fine so uh, but the sound of the music it's not as good as my original extreme explosives but it is still outstanding it's still good still good I'm still happy with it still beats that Dr. Dre still beats that one $150 headphones wow overpriced <laughs> it still beats that I guarantee it guys it's my favorite song it still sounds outstanding though It's still worth it guys all right it may not be 10 millimeter like my other one but it is still 
far superior than those uh, expensive headphones which cost over thirty dollars okay so um, these are still the best those come in second uh, I didn't say Dr. Dre is like probably they, they should charge like five dollars for those I mean that that that's how the quality is it's really low quality headphones um, these are far superior still um, so are those so uh, yeah I, I really like it a lot um, alright so I'm looking to see any information on that um, actually I think the cord length is a little bit shorter on this um, it says 1.2 meters and uh, could that be another difference um, yeah it's a little bit shorter I think my other one is uh, my first extreme explosives are 1.5 meters pretty sure um, oh yeah also the cord for the original extreme explosives is thicker the cord for these are thin pretty sure you can you guys can see the difference um, when I hold it like that the older ones the newer ones they did make a thinner cord uh, is it, it is a bit cheaper five dollars cheaper and um, still good still it's still really good because you got that button although I, I still like my uh, original extreme explosives better okay so um, I still have no idea why they gave me this this does nothing but you put the headphone jack in here and it just extends it by that much that's it doesn't do anything else it why did they give this anyway uh, there's, yeah, it says JVC on there. Why did I give this? I don't know. I would have liked a box instead of this one. But in any case, um, still good. Um, they're still extreme explosives. They still outbeat anything, any other headphones on the market today. So, uh, hey, I'm happy. If you can't find these sold anywhere, and I'm pretty sure you can't, um, hopefully you can at least end up with these. So, uh, they're good. Um, I don't know whether I'll get the 2013 model, which is next year. Uh, I might, might not. I probably won't. This is enough. Because I got, I got these also. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, I, I'm... Um, I'm not as happy as I was with these. I'm still happier with these. The original Extreme Explosives. Uh, they are far superior. And, um... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the product review and unboxing. If you can get a hold of the original Extreme Explosives without mic, please do that instead of the new one with mic. Because um, I, I don't mind taking out of the pocket to change the song. I, I don't have to have that button on the headphones, really. So, I mean, I like these more. These will still always be my favorite. Um, but it's, it's nice to have um, a backup, I guess. Actually, I'm, I might use those and use this as a backup because um, I want these to last longer, pretty much. Um, that's all there is to say. These are still my favorite, okay? So, um, yes, compared to the original Extreme Explosives, I, I'm a little bit disappointed, but um, I'm so happy with these. Um, because, well, what I experienced in the Apple Store and in Brookstone in the mall was far worse so th these are far superior to those so I'm happy still um, so end of the day these these still outbeat anything else on the market so um, I, I guess yeah I, I am happy with these earbuds okay guys uh, not as happy as my original ones but still happy with them so anyway um, thanks for tuning in uh, please subscribe guys I would really appreciate it uh, give me a like on this um, until, of course, Google removes the like-dislike button. 
But until then, give me a like, guys, and subscribe. And um, add me as a contact. Go to your inbox and add me as a contact, whatever the hell that means. I don't know. I don't care. But just do that, please. That'd be awesome of you. And um, I'll see you guys next time. All right? Hi, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, there's one more thing which I want to review. Uh... Here we uh, have the headphone jack. Uh, I must say, this is quite strong. I like the way this feels. Uh, just like the older one. This is the newer one. This is the older one. Um, apparently you can tell because of the rings on the older one. There are only two instead of three. And uh, it's still quite strong. I like that. I mean, the two thin wires instead of the one thicker wire, combined wire. Um, I prefer the thicker wire, but... Uh, this is still quite strong. I, I like that. So uh, that's another that's that's a positive thing about the JVC headphones. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to break. Uh, maybe like two or three years down the number line. There's no telling, but uh, for now it's it seems really sturdy. Um, this might actually, even though it's a thinner wire, it might be sturdier than I think it is. Just because I'm, I in my mind I'm thinking of really thin wires, um, which I experienced before the JVC Extreme Explosive. So uh, I think it's still a good purchase. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So, um, but I still prefer these. I still prefer these, and uh, I also prefer the on ear over there. So um, so anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in again. I just wanted. Uh, to tell you another thing about the he earbuds. So, uh, bye guys. Hey guys, um, another heads up. Uh, the new Extreme Explosives have a much better fit in your ear. If you tug on the wires, they don't, they stay in your ears better because the earbuds are smaller than the older uh, Extreme Explosives. So, uh, you still get good bass, not as powerful as the older Extreme Explosives, but they're still good. Really, really good, okay? Uh, better than anything else on the market. But uh, since they are slightly smaller size, I believe 8 millimeters anyway, uh, I, I don't really care about the numbers, um, they do fit in your ears better. So it's give and, give and take, guys. It's give and take. They fit in your ears better less of a chance of falling out of your ears but also a uh, slightly less powerful uh, bass so um, it depends these have a slightly higher risk of falling out of your ears like you're at, at the urinal and uh, you're afraid that it might come out if you tug on it like when taking your your iPhone is in your jacket pocket or whatever and um, stuff like that so, um, yeah, so anyway, all I'm saying is, uh, these are more powerful but have a higher risk of falling out of your ears. The newer ones are slightly less powerful but stay in your ears better. So, uh, it's give and take. It's give and take, guys. It's nothing more than give and take. Uh, you give a little, you take a little. Uh, you have a pro here, you have a con there. You have a con here, you have a pro there. Uh, as far as that's concerned, it's really opinion based. Okay, whether you end up with the older version or the newer version. Uh, I, I can definitely get used to the newer version, okay. I'm actually going to leave these here when I go on my vacation over the summer. Uh, and I'll take the newer Extreme Explosives and try and see how hardcore I can use it. I've used this very hardcore, so I'm going to leave this at home when I go on vacation and uh, take the New York Extreme Explosives with me especially because it's $25 versus 30 so uh, hey I'm happy with them I'm happy with both of them uh, because JVC does have quality products and I, I like it I like it a lot so uh, whichever ones you end up with I, I think you would be happy with it um, maybe 2013 edition of the Extreme Explosives will be even better uh, anyway, uh, or maybe if they release it later this year, a new version, I, I don't know. But, yeah, hey, I'm happy.
pause, play, pause, play. Next song, next song, next song. I really like that. So anyway, uh, I like that. I get the microphone and that, I mean, uh, on the iPod Touch I have voice control. On the iPhone I have Siri, so I mean, I could definitely get used to this. So I like it a lot. I'm not taking my iPhone or iPod Touch to India anyway, so... Um, Actually, when going to India, I might just take some El Cheapo headphones anyway. So anyway, uh, I might just leave these here because th these are awesome headphones and I, I don't want anything to happen to them. In a third world nation, I mean... Okay, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in this long, guys. It's a long product review, but I have a lot on my mind, so thanks for tuning in. I, I really want to help you out make the best purchase decision, okay? Don't spend more than $30 on your excellent earbuds if you don't have to, okay? $30 is like a maximum to buy the world's greatest earbuds, okay? I, I don't want you to waste hundreds of dollars or even $40 or $50 when you can get it for under $30. So, um, thanks again, guys, uh, for tuning in. Um, I think that's it this time, okay? So, uh, bye, guys. See you guys next time. Hey guys, uh, I seem to have dropped something on the floor when I was uh, messing with the packaging, the horrible packaging, and uh, that's just the JVC. Uh, things were approaching the product and stuff like that, and uh, could be just like last time, yeah. So, uh, limited warranty, uh, I think one year, yeah. So, uh, just like, I'm sorry, if it lasts one year, it's going to last further than that. Uh, based on how durable JVC products are. Um, and other people have also reported the same thing, so, uh, and actually I've been listening f to music for the past hour. Uh, oh yeah, uh, the, just some basic instructions. Single click, double click, triple click. I told you guys already, hold it down for Siri or voice control, whatever your iPhone or iPod Touch has, or iPad, whatever. Uh, so anyway, uh, just some basics. It's just basic instructions, that's all it is. I just dropped it on the floor when I was mangling up with this uh, wretched packaging. Anyway, uh, yeah, the packaging is horrible. Uh, I give a 0 out of 10. But uh, after listening to the, my music for the past hour, uh, you know what? Forget my first impression. It is awesome, okay? I was just comparing it to the other JVC headphones. But compared to anything else, JVC is awesome, okay? Um, I, I was... See, sometimes when you're listening to an awesome... Using an awesome product, you get desensitized to it. So then if you have another awesome product, it doesn't seem so awesome. But if you downgrade to something which is less awesome, and then upgrade back up to another awesome product, it's awesome! Okay, so um, it definitely beats uh, that Dr. Dre thing. And... Uh, those wooden and aluminum headphones from the Brookstone store uh, earbuds so it definitely beats all of those better fit all the way um, and by the way all of those headphones have a thinner wire and the Dr. Dre one has a fettuccine Alfredo hanging from your ears which is kinda nasty I don't like the feel of that and they kept slipping on my ears anyway horrible fit on those but these extreme explosives are totally awesome Sometimes your first impression is not as good, because I remember the when I first had the Extreme Explosives, my first impression was awesome, uh, and still is awesome. My long-lasting impression and first impression are awesome, but on these, I was just comparing it to the JVC, and yeah, uh, but the more compact f look and feel of these uh, earbuds actually do make it better fit. So, I tug on the wire, it doesn't fall out. So, I, I must say, it, it is totally awesome. It is the world's greatest earbuds after all. And, uh, I really can't imagine using any other earbuds other than JVC. So, I mean, yeah, my first impression was a little off. I, I just had to listen to it, listen to more music for a little while. And, uh, other music, which I have. And, it is totally awesome. And, iPhone's my pocket, and, uh, I can just play and pause with this one touch button, so it's awesome. 
So it, it is very noise cancelling, just like, uh, I mean, you might call it passive, but you know what? Passive is plenty, guys. Passive noise cancelling is all you need. Uh, I really don't care for active, because I, I don't want to deal with the battery. And in earbuds, you don't really have that option anyway. So anyway, uh, there we go. Just wanted to show you what I dropped on the floor when I was mangling up with the packaged packaging. Wretched packaging. Anyway, uh, thanks again for tuning in, guys, for the world's longest unboxing and product review. Okay. See you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>